Hello! As part of this study, you will be using Actigraph Activity Monitors to collect information about the physical activity or sleep behavior of study subjects. This short training video will show you how to charge, assign, deploy, and upload the activity monitors using the CenterPoint software. Before you begin, check with your IT department to make sure you have firewall access to the list of URLs provided in your site guide. Once URL access has been confirmed, install the ActiSync application from the link provided in the site guide. You will receive an email from Actigraph inviting you to join the CenterPoint system. Follow the instructions to set up your CenterPoint user account. If you do not accept the invitation within six days, please contact the Actigraph support team to have it resent. The activity monitor must be fully charged before assigning it to a subject. Connect the charging dock to your PC with the USB cable or a power outlet using a USB power adapter. Insert the activity monitor. When the yellow light on the dock turns green, the activity monitor is fully charged. This can take up to two hours. Now we're ready to assign it to a new subject. With ActiSync running, insert the activity monitor into the connected dock and select Assign the Subject Now. Enter your login information when prompted. When the subject page loads, enter your subject ID, study specific subject details, and where location. Then select Assign Device to a new subject. After the progress bar indicates that assignment is complete, remove the activity monitor from the charging dock. Wait at least 90 seconds for the device to calibrate, and then perform a test upload by placing the activity monitor back into the dock. Once ActiSync recognizes the activity monitor, the data will automatically begin to upload. After the upload is complete, mark the milestone associated with this visit, then scroll down and select I acknowledge subject where compliance. Sometimes you may need to assign an activity monitor to a subject who is already in the CenterPoint system. This could happen if an activity monitor gets lost or broken, or it could be part of the visit schedule for your study. To do this, insert the activity monitor into the connected dock and select Assign the subject now. Once the page loads, scroll to the bottom and choose the corresponding subject ID from the drop-down list. Then select Assign device to an existing subject. When the progress bar completes, perform the test procedure and mark the milestone. Now we move into deploying an activity monitor to a subject. Remove the activity monitor from the dock and insert it into the wristband or belt clip and give it to the subject, along with the appropriate charging accessories. Provide the subject with the specific instructions on how and when to wear, charge, and return the activity monitor outlined in the site manual. Subjects are typically instructed to bring the activity monitor with them to one or more site visits for a data upload. To upload data, insert the activity monitor into the connected charging dock. Data will begin to automatically upload to CenterPoint. Once the upload is complete, a browser window will open to the Subject Upload Compliance page. Mark the milestone associated with this visit. On this page, you will also see information about the subject's WARE compliance. Review the WARE compliance results and select I acknowledge subject WARE compliance. You may need to provide additional instructions if the subject compliance does not meet certain minimum requirements. Now you can remove the activity monitor from the dock and give it back to the subject for continued monitoring. At the final site visit, after you acknowledge WARE compliance, go to the Subject Details page and select Stop Collecting Data. This will remove the subject assignment and erase all activity monitor data, which is now stored securely in CenterPoint. Clean the activity monitor and accessories with an alcohol-based solution and return them to the study inventory. Congratulations! The activity assessment is now complete. These instructions, along with the assessment schedule and additional study-specific details, are available in your site manual. Please contact your study coordinator with any questions. Thank you.